She's just happy as can be, loving her humans. Yes, mama, you can do those twists real good. It is an update episode today, and we'll start with me. So this is my face. I am now in month five of my Ramsey Hunt syndrome recovery, and things are looking great. I feel mostly normal. <laughs> I feel like I have my energy back. I stopped with uh, some of the medicines that were making me tired, and now I'm working a little bit more, so you'll see a few more uploads. I can blink. Ugh. I think my eye still goes up, though but I'm getting better at that. I have something called synchinesis, but it doesn't really phase me. So watch whenever I close my eye a lot, this guy wants to go up, so I have to train it to not do that. So stop doing that, stop it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fine. In the grand scheme of things, I'm like, eh. look, I can smile more. You can see my teeth when I smile, so. All in all, it's amazing. The most that I'm happy about is that I'm getting my energy back and that's giving me the will to like do more stuff. And so now I'm excited to create. My main thing is I love being in the backyard. I've always loved being outdoors. My boys aren't outdoors people, but I do. So I've made my backyard kind of an oasis and I want it to be. And it's an ongoing project this summer because I still don't have all of my energy, but I could do a little bit at a time and it makes me totally happy. Let's go see what I've done so far. <sighs> This is my favorite spot right here. I love sitting here. Okay, so this is catnip, right? I love this catnip. But I ended up getting these little solar lights because they actually come off in two ways. They come off this way too. If you remember my Dia de los Muertos, Senora Valeria, she had a chandelier that my friend gave me. And that chandelier is up there. Now that chandelier actually had like a plug that goes into it, but I needed to be outdoors. So I kind of rigged something. Then I'm like, I saw this person doing this. So I got those and I glued them on there. Let's see what it looks like at night. And here it is at night. How beautiful is that? Like legit. Here are the rest of them. They're super cute. This is the winner here. <sighs> It's so magical, love it. Cleaned out the weeds over here just so I could get a better look and it's just gorgeous the way it is. Got my privacy sails up because we're up on a hill. I have moved all of that over there, right? We had the little jump off, which is amazing. I still need to paint it and sand it. We've used it, it's awesome. In the winter, I take that down and move the trampoline over there and I'll finish that later. So here's my big area. Like, I love this area. I want it to be like a garden of awesomeness. I just couldn't see it. So Eddie was like, take all those cedar fence that we got from our neighbor and start putting them down to see kind of what I wanted. But I still couldn't see it. Come stand over here where uh, Eddie told me to stand and take a picture. So I came over here and I took a picture and it's so funny because I sent it to Eddie and then this is what he comes back with. Isn't that amazing? So now I have that to work with. I might kind of mess with it just a little bit because I do like the idea of like a little walkway here to go into that pretty thing, but I want that to come back here. That's now gonna be more grass because I miss the greenery. All of this stuff looks good. I moved this over here and then it started coming out with these flowers and I'm like, oh, I love the mirrors. I started collecting mirrors because I just like them. I love these banana trees. We're gonna keep them like that because eventually Eddie's gonna build me a greenhouse and in the winter we're gonna go put them in a greenhouse. If we come over here, these guys are doing well. Those are gonna grow again, but now look, here's the problem. That tree split in half. So I've got to do something to cover it. Right now I have these sails, but see that light right there? Lights the whole place at night. It drives me crazy, I gotta do something about that. So I'm gonna end up taking those wood pieces, putting them all the way around here and making a walkway back here so I can get to the firewood. I can get to the pool, <laughs> that's where it goes. And I can come up here and make my way back up here. Eventually we're gonna add some more plants. I wanna put a waterfall right there. I think it'll just be all awesome. All right, let's go to the front before it rains. Need to mortar these still, and I have the mortar on the front porch, but I'm just so thrilled about this. Every time I come out here to look at it, I'm in awe. Like, it came out so good. I'll uh, put a video up for how I made this, I think. I think I'm 
think I put it up on how I made it. Surely I did, right? It just came out so good. So there's the drain over there and it just drains it all out and a little fishy comes with it and it'll drain down here and it'll go right into there into the bushes. So I got these some mini rose bushes from H-E-B, really, really cheap and they're doing so well. This is my favorite right here. I picked this up on a whim. <laughs> it fit perfect in there. <laughs> it's so cool. This section is coming out gorgeous. I planted that guy and I planted this bulb a while ago and then one day it just kind of popped up and it's just so pretty. Let's go look at the doggy fountain. Still loved by many. Oh my goodness. I haven't come out in a minute. I do need to clean it, but this is the sweetest thing on the planet. Every now and again, I get little notes from my neighbors and it just, it just warms my soul. Doggy fountain. I added some rocks over there to kind of warm it up. And it, uh, we're getting it's really good. I'm loving it in the summer. So Texas, we're known for our blue bonnets. That's our Texas flower, right? They bloom in the spring, early spring, and then they die off. And then those little bitty seed bulbs go down and they make more. And they're gorgeous when they come up. While that was happening, I'm like, well, let's plant some other stuff. And look at how beautiful the colors are. I want to plant more, but time will tell. Get them little as I go. This is my favorite little patch to look at. It's so beautiful. I worked so hard on this little patch because no grass was growing here. And I love this. I come out every day and look at it. Water the ones that look like they might need a little bit more. Look at how wonderful they've all grown. These little rose bushes are seriously the best purchase from h &B. This came out of nowhere. It came over here is where I planted them last year. Those are the only ones that survived. I planted like three sections of them, but then they kind of spread. Just love nature. Isn't that gorgeous? No clue what this is, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Came back better than ever from last year. I've repainted this. I have plans. My plans will happen soon, little at a time, but I'm excited about what's to come on this walkway. She's still looking amazing. Like, she really is cool. And these guys are looking cool too. I don't think I'm ever gonna update them. I'm gonna let them wear out a little bit as they go, because I think it just looks cool that way. Marshy baby, did you find a new place? Huh, mama? Yes, you did. You're sleepy, huh? Hi, mama. Look at you, beautiful girl. All right, let's let her sleep. She's a little picky. She doesn't like to be touched. <laughs> Not much here on this little girl. She's just happy as can be, loving her humans. Yes, mama, you can do those twists real good, huh? Let's go see about daddy. Now we're coming into Eddie's area and let's see what he has shown us, what he has been up to. Hi, Hi babe. Um, hello. Guys, come with me. We need to find my tripod's missing, as always. We have updates. Look, it's this one, but not this one. Anyways, today we wanted to give you guys a quick update. There's a lot of cool new things that we've gotten, and we haven't had the opportunity to show it, particularly me with Studiotronics. Check this out. Ooh, look at that thing. That is a CNC machine, and it weighs 800 pounds. Look at this thing that also has my tripod. Wow, I didn't even see it. Guys, looks like some really snazzy pink sunglasses. <laughs> are on there. And in addition to that mega CNC, I also got a new lathe. It was like so junky. It was covered in like bees and wasps. Speaking of, there's a wasp that's trying to gain some coverage up there. Ugh. But check this out. It's beautiful, isn't it? We painted it. One of these days it's gonna be up on Studio Tronics and you can check it out. So most of you guys probably know by now that I'm like totally into making bulkies and I made the huge mistake of committing to doing six of them at the same time. Never again. It's been like three months of just stress but here's one of them it's very close to being finished really pretty with it is going to be a carbon fiber shaft and a regular maple shaft over there oh yeah it's nice and smooth so this one is almost ready to go out the door i still feel like a little ridge right there more sanding it's really annoying other ones are hanging two of them have already been mailed off just slowly making progress i also don't remember if i showed the world this this is my tool section but what's weird about it is i've attached it to my chandelier which is only being held up by those two screws. Now, this is probably a gajillion pounds, and if it ever fell, it would be catastrophically hilarious. While we're here, check this out. That's Jimbo. Where is Jimbo? He's trying to build a wasp nest. Last year, started there, but we totally like killed that nest, and he gave up, and that was it for that year. And this year, he's back. 
Jimbo. Good luck, buddy. So this carbon fiber shaft is from the guy who is buying this here right here. But he mentioned it was a repair. It was damaged and he wanted me to take a look at it. And I've made quite a few of these and this is new to me. It looks like he might have plugged it with maple. I don't know what that goo is. Is it old epoxy maybe? Fascinating. Why it failed, I'm not sure. But we are going to just core it out and start over. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to share with you my other tool holder. Check this out. Can you see the back of it? Hold on, let me just back it up a little bit. You see that? If you come to the back. <laughs> I anticipate it's gonna fall one of these days because I made this cool articulating, or is it articulating arm? But the problem is, do you see these things that look like weird NASA things? These things are like a gajillion pounds. So this thing is no exaggeration, probably, I don't know, 60 pounds? And it's just too much for this guy. So one of these days, it's just gonna be amazing and it's just gonna explode everywhere. But until then, it's pretty sweet. And that is the end of our update. Those yes. are my sunglasses! Finders keepers, losers, weepers, they were there when we found it. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna take this off camera.